Hello everyone, welcome once again in Cool IT Help. Guys, in this video tutorial, I will tell you how to add an image inside the table view in Java FX. Right now, you can see a sample example that is running on my system, and we have this undecorated stage, and we have a table view. Then we have this small image added inside this column. Okay, I am going to click uh, this button and three more rows will be added inside this table view now see this okay guys so the same thing i will explain you how you can do in your project this is very simple and easy we have to simply focus on the table view we have to prepare data model then we have to add inside the table view so uh, i will explain you step by step before proceeding guys i have a request if you think this video is useful for you so please uh, like this video and share with your friends as well and uh, if you want such more useful videos on my channel so please subscribe my channel and press this notification bell icon so you will get the latest video updates asap okay guys i'm going to explain all these things okay now we are moving inside the netbeans ide so here the project is ready i will explain you each component step by step so first of all this is the fxml based project so we have these three files the fxml and one controller and uh, this is a file which has a start method this is the starting point of our application also we have uh, created some images that i am using in this project okay and uh, the this file this is employee this is a simple uh, pojo class you can say this is bean or you can say this is a data model okay so first of all i will show you the fxml what we have inside the fxml so i need to copy the path and we have to open inside the scene builder So here's the scene builder. Now I'm going to open the FXML of this project. So you will have a good understanding. So guys, this is the FXML of uh, the project. So here uh, we have uh, table view. Okay, we have table view and uh, we have column inside the employee photo employee id name email id department salary okay so in this way we have all these column already created and the fx corresponding fx id assigned to this like uh, employee id and each column has one fx id okay and uh, here's my button so we have uh, handling this button click action inside the controller so there is a action handler method handle button action i will explain you inside the fxml controller okay so guys we have all these set up inside the fxml i hope you guys are clear at this level okay now i'm going to in explain the code so here is my file which has a start method so first of all uh, i will tell you uh, we are using uh, the CSS style sheet to creating that look and feel that transparent stage for setting the color and for setting the, setting the font color. So this is easy thing. This is the style sheet. Okay, this is sim very simple. Uh, dot root means we have applied the background color on the base. That means we have applied the color on the stage and the same way we have applied the color on the table view and we have uh, applied css for the row cell okay and uh, here we are changing the text color and here we are changing the column the text color so this is simple css nothing more complexity here and now uh, we are going inside the controller so what we have inside the controller uh, i will tell you the main concept what we are doing here so 
uh, we have created the FX ID and uh, with the help of at the red FXML, so we are taking the reference of that object here in the controller. So we will use these objects. Okay. So first we have to create a list, the observable list. So we have created here at line number 41. Okay. And we will use this list to put our uh, data model objects inside it and then we will set this list inside the table view okay you can see at line number 62 we are adding this list inside the table view okay so uh, this is the code for the button click action as you have seen uh, in the beginning of the video I clicked on one button and then three more rows are added inside the table view so that is happening here in this method okay so i will tell you later first uh, i will tell you at the time of initialize what we are doing we are simply creating uh, a simple row and we are adding that inside the table view so how we are creating it to do that we have to set a cell value factory method we have to call a set cell value factory method on the column okay so we have employee image column emp image column this is the fx id of the column okay so let me show you the fx id of you can see this is the fx id of employee photo this is the first column of my table view so we have to call the set cell value factory method and you have to pass a uh, object of property value factory in this way and here we have to pass one string so you guys are thinking what is this string so guys this is the string this is this is the property which we have defined inside our data model that means this is the object reference that is defined here okay this is the pojo class so we have uh, some properties also we have getter and setter to hand access these properties so here we have a reference object photo employee id okay first name email department and salary so we are using uh, the photo this variable is of type image view so the same variable i am using here inside the controller at this place that means we are telling uh, to the framework that uh, we have to pick the image from the data model and we have to set inside the cell that means set cell value factory method is doing something for you so you have to call the set cell value factory on each column in the similar way we have called set cell value factory on employee id column employee name column email column department column and salary column so guys i hope this is clear to you okay and we have to display image inside the cell okay so what we have to do we have to create a placeholder okay so image view is a placeholder you can get this uh, image view inside the uh, scene builder as well but we are doing this thing so we have to prepare we have to create this one object uh, manually at this place so we have created emp0 photo this uh, object with the help of new keyword we have created image view so image view is a placeholder it needs an image so we have to pass an image object inside its constructor so here's the way we are doing okay we have created an image object and the image class needs a stream of the image so we are getting the image stream with the help of get resource as a stream method okay now you can see this is my image image 0.png that we have created so here is the our image image 0.png which is inside this package this is base package okay so once we have created the image view object we have to pass here in the data model constructor so we are creating the employee object with the help of new keyword and here we are passing all the values as you can see this is first this is the employee id we have giving uh, 
this employee id by self okay uh, and this is the name this is email id and this is department and this is the salary okay so here we are calling the employee constructor that we have defined here in the employee class now let me show you the employee class so here we have the employee constructor okay so whatever the parameters we are passing from this place okay so that is being received by here in this constructor and we are setting all these properties with the incoming values okay once we done this and we have uh, the employee object then we are adding this object into the observable list so data is our observable list let me show you one more time so that will be clear to you guys this is observable list data that we have uh, created at line number 41 and here at line number 94 we are adding this our employee object inside it okay so right now our table view have uh, nothing okay and we have to set this observable list so this observable list containing only one item which is our first employee okay and we are going to add this observable list here at line number 103 with the help of set items method okay we have done now we will be ready to see one row inside the table view okay now i'm going to run this first so guys you will be clear about this initialize method okay now you can see our first image is loaded and rest of the data for the corresponding column are filled properly okay and let me show you the button click action so you will be able to understand what is doing inside this is very simple we simply creating the three employee object okay and uh, for these th three employee objects we have created three image view object with three different images one two three okay and these are passed inside the constructor for employee one we have passing employee one photo for employee three we are passing employee two and for employee four we are passing employee three photo okay simply we are passing the image view object okay because we need to set a different image okay for the employees so employee constructor required one image view object so we are passing here okay once we are ready with this employee object we have to add this inside the observable list so here is our observable list and we have added in these three lines 57 58 and 59 once we are ready with the observable list okay now we have to set this observable list inside the table view so that is done here in at line number 62 okay guys i hope all concept is clear to you let me uh, revise one more time what we are doing we are simply creating one observable list okay so observable list required data model okay so our data model is employee so employee has all these properties like employee id first name email department and salary okay and we have to fill this employee with the values so we are using the constructor to fill up this object okay fill this employee object okay and then when we are create ready with these employee objects we are putting inside the observable list and simply we are putting this observable list inside the table view so whole arrangements 
are working this way so don't confuse as we have added the image in the similar way we are putting the string and integer values and float values inside the table view cell and uh, this is the button click action I'm going to click it now you can see these uh, three more rows are added successfully guys uh, for your easiness I am giving the download link of this project in the description so you guys just download this project and import in your NetBeans ID and you can explore more so you will able to understand the whole concept in better way okay guys uh, if you think this video is useful so please like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more tutorials and please press this bell icon so you will get the latest video updates ASAP thanks for watching cool IT help